Well, good morning and welcome to another Tiny Desk Sermon. Pastor Shear with you this morning. So this morning we're going to take a look at the Old Testament lesson for this coming Sunday. Uh, we are going to be in the first Sunday of, excuse me, the first Sunday after uh, Pentecost, after Trinity, uh, what we call the proper or ordinary time. Uh, so we'll start to kind of see some some readings that kind of flow sequentially uh, together and, and paint a large story. But today we're going to focus on the Old Testament reading uh, that is from Genesis chapter 3. Uh, chapter 3, verses 8 to 15. And there came to them the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the evening wind. And the man and his wife went to a secret place among the trees of the garden away from the eyes of the Lord God. And the voice of the Lord God came to the man, saying, Where are you? And he said, Hearing your voice in the garden, I, I was full of fear, because I was without clothing, and I kept myself from your eyes. And he said, Who gave you the knowledge that you were without clothing? Have you taken of the fruit of the tree which I said you were not to take? And the man said, The woman whom you gave to me to be with me, she gave me the fruit of the tree, and I took it. And the Lord said to the woman, What have you done? And the woman said, I was tricked by the deceit of the snake, and I took it. And the Lord God said to the snake, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all cattle and every beast of the field. You will go flat on the earth, and dust will be your food all the days of your life. And there will be war between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. By him will your head be crushed, and by you his foot will be wounded. So the events of, of this text, they... They follow the fall. They follow the creation story, the fall into sin. Already have the eyes of Adam and Eve been opened, and they've realized how greatly they truly have sinned. And what did they do? They tried to hide from God. And I don't know about you, but for me, that always strikes me as a little funny. I mean, how can you really hide from the all-knowing, almighty God? But we do the same thing. We try so hard to, to hide our sins from, from others and, and to cover up what we've done, hiding it from, from those around us or even from God. And in the end, we, we fool ourselves. We may fool others, but we'll never be able to fool God. Even when he's confronting Adam and Eve, what do they do? They shift the blame. They, they don't blame themselves, but rather Adam blames Eve, and then Eve indirectly, they both blame God. But what does God do? God sees their blame and, and rather than, than lash out, rather than, than start over, I mean, there's only two people that have ever been created. He can just snap his fingers. He can reset everything. He instead has mercy for them. He gives them the, the promise of salvation, the promise of, of, of hope that is to come. That last verse is called the Proto-Evangelium which is just a fancy way of saying it's the first gospel message spoken. It's the promise of a coming Savior that's going to restore things to how they should be. And Adam and Eve, they didn't know if they would see that fulfillment of that promise or not. I mean, Eve certainly thought that Cain was the fulfillment because Cain means I have gotten a man. But we, of course, know that they don't see the fulfillment of it, but we see it. We see the promised Savior who crushes the head of the serpent in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In his death on the cross, he crushed the head of the evil one. He removed the sting of death and gives us the hope of new life. And even though the season of Easter may be over, the, we're, we're into what we call the ordinary time. We celebrate something that is anything but ordinary the newness of life that awaits us all. So let's celebrate that today, and let's celebrate it every week as we, we gather and worship together. And we look forward to seeing you on Sunday. God's blessings. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.